Welcome to today's video, where we'll be exploring the differences between up milling and down milling in the fascinating world of machining. Get ready to dive into the workings of these two milling processes and discover which one is the right choice for your project. Milling is a cutting process where a rotating cutter removes material from a workpiece, shaping it into the desired form. Today, we'll be focusing on two specific types of milling, up milling and down milling. At first glance, up milling and down milling might seem similar, but they have distinct differences that can impact the quality and efficiency of your machining project. First, let's explore up milling, also known as conventional milling. In up milling, the cutter rotates against the direction of the workpiece's feet, causing the chips to start thin and gradually increase in thickness. This results in a higher force on the workpiece, leading to some potential challenges. Up milling challenges, chatter, reduce tool life, and lower surface finish quality. While up milling might not be the most efficient option, it's still suitable for specific applications, such as when dealing with backlash or when machining hard and brittle materials. Now let's take a look at down milling, commonly known as climb milling. In down milling, the cutter rotates in the same direction as the workpiece's feed, which means the chips start thick and gradually become thinner. This process offers some key advantages. Down milling advantages, reduce cutting forces, improved surface finish, and increased tool life. Down milling is often the preferred choice in modern machining because it is more efficient and produces better results. However, it might not be ideal for machines with significant backlash or when working with thin, unstable workpieces. To sum up, the primary differences between up milling and down milling lie in the direction of the cutter's rotation relative to the workpiece's feed, chip formation, and the resulting advantages and challenges. When choosing between up milling and down milling, consider factors such as your machine's capabilities, the material you're working with, and the desired finish quality. By understanding the differences between these two processes, you can make an informed decision and achieve the best results for your project. Thank you for watching our video on up milling and down milling. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content on machining and other engineering topics. Until next time, happy milling!